button. Hi there. It, it's home stuck recording. Okay, and now that we've introduced the recording, we got this. <clears throat> um... Okay, so, uh, recap, we are back from troll whatever the fuck, and John is going for it. There's the Salamanders, arguably some of the best characters in the entire story. So, John, <coughs> return. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up by letting people, uh have that specific sound emote not having a time limit on it. I, my main request is that you just don't spam it because we're reading. And that kind of messes with it. I mean, doesn't mean you can't. I mean, Quack is perfectly fine. Or Gnome. Quack and Gnome. <laughs> okay, so John, return. Uh, am I right coughing a lot? Maybe take a sip of water or something. Oh, yeah, no, I'm just clearing my throat. Anyway, so John is sent back to his room, which is completely trashed. Yeah, and he's just like, ah, oh, fuck. It's my room. It's... Oops. Okay, uh, John, dispatch the pests. That, that, that is it. Everyone out, you are dead serious. <laughs> you don't even kill him. You just tell him to get the fuck out of your house. John, examine your room. Look at this mess. Well, you just look at this slightly bigger mess than usual. Uh, let's see. What's different? Um, posters have been defaced. Uh, that got knocked over. You have a bunch of those things everywhere. Your desks, your cubular desk is knocked over. Your computer's on the floor. Uh... I don't know. Your bed's gone. Your bed's just straight up gone. Anyway, John, examine your computer, please. They chucked it out the window. Oh, there's the rest of the computer. Little oily bastards. You have to get your hands on a new one somehow. Except don't you already have the PDA, so you should be fine. Which, didn't you combine that with your glasses? So you're like, double fine. <laughs> anyway, John, examine the posters, please. This is just insult to injury. You almost want to cry. Bonk. Just look at that face. A sad face. A forlorn face. <coughs> Versk, uh, the, the, uh, Victoria's Secret. What's his deal? Pestalog. <coughs> I have only a little bit of water. I accidentally drank it all before the stream started. And even though I did refill it before the stream, I just drank it all. Anyway. <clears throat> John, why? Uh, I uh, have to. I have to get in the character. <laughs> oh God, I have to get in the character. Okay. Whew. Uh, doesn't help that my brain is being a tiny bit funky for no reason, besides the normal reasons. It's it's a normal amount of funk. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay, that was, that was a certain a stretch. I'm pretty sure that... Wait, why is he back to using the PDA? Doesn't he have the glasses? Am I, or am I going crazy? I think I'm going crazy. Anyway, um, ahem. John, ah, how, how do I do the accent? I need to remember how to do the accent here. Give me a sec. John, why are you just standing around wasting time? John, 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 why are you only, John, 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 hey, damn John, stop sounding smarter than me. Some, some is so much like you. I have done it. I have done the thing. I think. I don't know. I'm gonna throw some socks on. Because I do not have socks. Because I was dumb and 
kept forgetting to put on socks. Ugh. How's everyone's day? <laughs> Welcome back to the trying to make small track talk and distract from the fact that uh, I'm trying to put on socks. And uh, it's a very interesting thing happening. Uh, what are socks? Uh, they're like gloves for your feet. Well, more like mittens for your feet. Because they don't have... You, you have to get special ones for them to be like gloves. Okay. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I'm not stretched. <sighs> that's pretty gross. Yeah, that's fair. Um... Sorry, my brain going wee. Uh, anyway. <laughs> John, why are you standing around wasting time? Uh, d d I, I don't know. You can you can see my future, can't you? Uh, how much time am I wasting? <sighs> Enough to make me wonder what the hell your deal is. Uh, well, then I would venture to guess I'm wasting time because you chose to pester me now. <sighs> Damn it, John. Stop sounding smarter than me. This is unbecoming to someone so inferior. I mean, I was just pausing for a moment to look at my trashed movie posters. They bring back memories. The life that I guess is long gone now, but you probably know what but you probably know what that's all about. Yeah, I know. It wasn't even that long ago. <coughs> oh jeez. Wasn't even that long ago, but it really seems like forever since I was on Earth. It was a pretty nice place. I bet you would have liked it. Eh. Eh, it, it seems a little too sunny for my liking. Well, uh, what about you? Uh, do you miss your planet and your parents and such? Uh, life I left behind wasn't so hot, to be honest. Oh, well, that that's too bad. Why don't why don't we not talk about that? Uh, what are these movies anyway? Uh, they look absolutely horrible, just awful, just bad overall. Uh, but you see that that that's where you're wrong. These these films are the finest Earth ha fi is the fi uh, these films are the finest Earth has to offer. Are they about clowns? No, no, I drew those clowns in my sleep for some reason. Huh. I mean, this one here is so great, it's about this street tough renegade who did hard time behind bars. He wants nothing more in the world than to reunite with his loving wife and daughter, but not so fast. He has to go on a crazy and dangerous escapade through the sky with a motley assortment of rogues, led by John Malkovich, who is wise to Cage's heroic nature and pure heart. They tether a grumpy policeman's awesome car to the plane and smash it. Then later they crash into some casinos, Cage gets out of records and hugs his family, and I hear this silly uh, tear up a little. Uh, now's my working troll title for the movie. I, I hope it was okay. John, even though your title is quite amusing and probably kind of cute, that movie sounds hilariously bad. Well, uh, you are hilariously wrong. Here, hang on. Uh, I'll show you. And then there's a link. Bud Ink. Is this, is this legit just a scene? I feel this image in my soul right now. Anyway. <coughs> oh, jeez. I may have to break early to get my water. <coughs> Excuse me, uh. Okay. Oh, but you will, you'll probably have to use your troll thingy to rewind time or whatever to before the Earth internet blew up so you can watch it. Is is this like the Earth equivalent of GruTube or something? I mean, I guess? Man, I am not watching this shitty video. It looks so bad. Okay, you suit yourself, but there it is in case you ever have a hankering after some incredible movie magic. Okay, I will be sure to bookmark it and label it Dumb Kids Stupid Nonsense. Okay, uh, good idea. By the way, uh, why aren't you using your computer glasses to talk suddenly? This device seems less efficient, and you don't look as cool. I, like I fucking said, John, you dipshit. Uh, anyway. 
Oh, the goggles are cool. Uh, oh, the goggles are cool and all, but they kind of restrict my vision stupidly when I'm using them. I should remember to make a new hands-free device that's, like, less obtrusive. Maybe after I make a new computer so I can install this game. Uh, how will you duplicate it? Isn't it smashed out there on your lawn ring? It, yeah, but I can use one of my old previously punched cards. Oh, great. Uh, John? What? Okay, I'll, I will slide you a break because clearly your block was just ransacked, but maybe you just want to put that away? Somewhere discreet where you usually keep it. Uh, there's at least one girl spying on you right now, you know. Put what away? What are you talking about? Your pail is showing, stupid. What? This? My pail? You mean my bucket here? Uh, yeah, come on. Will you take a hit and show some decorum? Um, I'm not really falling. What do you, what do you have against... Buckets. Man, nothing, just, it's, <clears throat> okay. Okay, maybe humans don't really have a sense of shame over this sort of thing. Sh shame over what? It's just a bucket, you know, for putting soapy water in and cleaning stuff with. Like, what? Oh, do troll? what do you use? What? Wh why? What do trolls use them for? Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay, of course. That's what I was talking about, your cleaning bucket. In troll culture, we consider cleaning products to be really indecent or something. I am flushing b furiously about it right now. Please try to be sensitive to my cultural ways and understandings. Uh, oh, okay, that's definitely pretty odd, but, uh, okay, I'm sorry you saw my bucket. I I'll just chuck it out the window, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, John. That's very gentleman of you. Gem gentlemanly of you. Now, will you quit shitting around and get on with it? God. Well, I was going to, but you started babbling at me. Jeez, Spinneret. That, that isn't my real name, you dope. Okay, then what is it? I ain't telling you that. It's a secret. <sighs> All eight gross spidery eyes. Oops, I mean, uh, exclamation times eight. You don't even need to say that. I can see you rolling your eyes, remember? Oh, yeah... Okay, so John, discard the sordid receptacle. Yeet the bucket. Nothing like, uh, I'm, I honestly just want to save this. Oh, I can, oh, wait. I can save this image? Oh, hell yeah. Maybe one day. Anyway, John, exit to balcony. <coughs> mm. What a surprise. More lousy imps having their way with the place. You wonder where Nana could be. Someone needs to get this monthly assortment of rogues under control. Yeah, I mean, look at this. That guy has a bowler hat. That's fucking dangerous. Uh, now, what in the hell is going on over there? Uh, let's see. We got cat ones. We have weird Cthulhu ones. Yeah, um, and then we have some salamanders. So, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Salamanders. Let's go. Oh no, more embarrassing cleaning apparatus. You've got to hide it before a sesquit spinneret or whatever her, na her name is sees it and gets upset. John, assail the rogue. Boot, get that shit out of here. <laughs> I swear. Anyway, being culturally sensitive is really hard work. <laughs> John, look up. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> That's a... Uh... Much taller. Anyway, looks like someone's server player has been busy. John, foster someone's server player. Hey, Rose. <coughs> oh, God. Okay, I'm going to need water for this. I'll be right back.
Sorry, I had to warm up and I also had to get water. So, <clears throat> uh, let's get to reading. Um. Uh, hey, Rose. Hi. Uh, how, how you doing? I don't even remember the last time we talked. I, I've just been so busy and it looks like you have been too. I mean, like, holy sh- hope, hopey shit. My house is huge. Uh, actually, building up your house has been one of the more trivial ways I've passed the times. Great swaths of structure may be copied and pasted with little architectural consideration. I've only bothered to do so while in contemplation. It's relaxing. Oh, well, uh, it must have cost a fortune. I mean, we have a lot of grist. How much? I don't recall any hard figures offhand. Last time I checked, more than a million units of several different types torrented between the three of us. A torrented? Shared... Share through an application. I unlocked the disk from your registry and deployed it. I convinced your nana to install it on your computer before an imp threw it out the window, that is. Oh, you got her to do that? But she's an old lady. Also a ghost. My methods of persuasion have been improving. Also, uh, she's really tricky and plays a lot of pranks. Did she try to prank you? No. Huh, I guess you enjoyed the prankster's gambit on that exchange then? Hmm? Oh, yeah. What's up with the alchemeter? It looks... Weird. Upgrade. Upgrades. Did you get Nana to do that too? N- no, your concerts were utilized for that. The salamanders? Yeah, they seem eager to receive simple instructions. I'm guessing they find their way back to your house to allow the client player to re- remain productive while the server player is away. They aren't very smart, though. N- no, they're not. I'm surprised they even understand what to do. Like I said, coercion hasn't been much of a problem. Uh, yeah, uh, what exactly does that mean? Like, what what have you been doing this whole time? Well, you don't tell, you don't you tell me what you've been up to first. I mean, I've been curious, but too preoccupied to inquire. Well, I mean, I have been talking to a lot of trolls, for one thing. They sure are talking to a bunch. All right, I've... <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I've noticed. Then I cloned some slime babies in the veil. Did you? Yeah, um, it's a... Long story short is Jade is my slime clone sister, and Dave is your slime clone brother, and we were all born today. Yeah. Y- yes? Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes? I, I I figured that out. Oh. Anything else? Um, then I fell asleep, and I woke up on the battlefield. Uh, oh, Rose, I'm fairly sure I saw your mom. You, you did? Are you, are you sure it was her? Well, it was a nice and proper looking lady with a pink scarf, so, uh... I don't know. Who else Who else would that be? Yeah, that was likely her. Um, how was she? Uh, fine, I guess. She was with my dad. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah. Did she seem happy? Uh, happy? Uh, oh, wow, I don't know. Uh, I don't really know her well enough to say. I, I mean, I guess. Plus, I was a little distracted. Maybe I'll find out next time I go to sleep. Eh, fair enough. Now, stop being so spookily mysterious and telling me what you've been doing. Yeah, mostly inve- investigating, mostly. Investigating what? Everything there is to investigate. Information hidden in the lore of our lands, concealed in ruins and riddles. Looking for whatever there is to discover about the game, and more importantly, whatever exceeds its boundaries, the cloaked traces of myth beyond its scope. Oh, it's, it's scope up. <clears throat> oh, Rose, did you know we're supposed to be creating a universe within this game? Yeah. I think that's pretty neat. I mean, it is in principle, but it won't happen. So you believe the trolls, then? It's not a matter of believing them. The writing is on the wall. Literally. Uh, it is? The assessor was never meant to bear fruit. It's barren, so to speak. Uh, That's a bit of a bummer. I'm still skeptical about that, though. That's why you're our leader, John. Huh? Optimism through stalwart skepticism is a defect not everyone is lucky enough to be cursed with. That's... Stupid. <coughs> mm. I'm clearing out my throat today. Mm. Uh, I'm I, I'm not your leader. I'm your friend. There's a big difference. Statements like that are also why you're a leader. Uh, flame. Yeah, kind. Yeah, kind of. So if you're sure, if you're sure that we're gonna fail, what's the point of everything we're doing? Uh, simple. The objective is no longer to win. Um, I mean, what are we actually shooting for here? To do as much damage to the game as possible. To rip its stitches and pry answers from the seams. We will snatch purpose from the jaws of futility. Are you ready to wreak some havoc, John? 
I suddenly do not understand anything. I don't think this guy understands anything either. <coughs> mm. Mm. Give, give me a sec. <coughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, that voice is very interesting to do. <clears throat> um, oh, hey, there's Rose. She looks really cool. Anyway, Salamancer. Wand, please. Thank you, Vince Roy. Oh my god. Vince Roy. Vince Roy. Look at him. Vince Roy in a little robe and scarf. Hell yeah. It's way more dramatic relying on a familiar than a boring o old Silidex. Yeah, especially when it's Vince Roy. And now we're at the Turtle Palace. Oh, Turtle Palace. Uh, so first a Frog Palace that's on Earth, and now we have a Turtle Palace. So that's interesting. Hmm, let's see. Sorry, I have a pecan pie. I need to deal with it real quick. Mainly the crust, because... You know, eating the crust can be a dry and not fun process, especially when uh, you're eating the pecan pie cold instead of warm. I have no idea if you're supposed to eat pecan pie warm. I do not think you are, but if you are, well, uh, I guess I like eating it wrong. Right now I'm dealing with the crust of it by slowly, you know, just kind of breaking it off. Now I need to get a napkin, wipe off my fingers before I touch anything else, and then continue. Anyway, Rose, investigate. Ah, uh, crap. Rose is in Smash Bros now. Look, she's been taken. <coughs> anyway, uh, wand. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> the turtle is fucking terrified. I can tell. Anyway, Rose has that. <clears throat> Rose, answer. Do 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 do. Okay, you uh... Okay, this will probably stri strike you as an odd moment for me to mention this, but actually, there are not many moments I have observed on your timeline which wouldn't quantify as odd, and somehow, your idle moments seem to invite interruption at the least, and this is a difficult topic for me to broach, for reasons that you probably won't understand. You're rambling, you're rambling again, uh, Kansas. Okay, sorry. I've just been meaning to say that I read your instructional guide. <coughs> oh? Rose, be the troll girl. You are suddenly the troll girl in a different game session. In the past. Kansas, confer with the leader. Ba doom doom doom. Your speech was really emotional. Okay, I definitely don't need you busting my bulge about the speech now. I've taken enough shit. I got a little worked up, okay? And if you have something to say, why don't you come say it to my face? I'm fed up with these backdoor nook biting shenanigans. I don't mean to critique your speech. I just wanted to ask you something in confidence about the humans. Oh, okay, what is it? Are you sure they're responsible for our misfortune? Yes, there's no doubt about it. Was it on, on account of malice or incompetence? I don't know, maybe both. Why does it matter? It sort of does. It's not even that sure why. This is. I'm not even that sure why. This is a difficult topic for me to broach for reasons that you probably won't understand. Uh, God damn it! no more mysteries, please. If you think we'd have our fill of them by now, if I have to solve one more riddle, I'm going to... I, I don't know... Will your response involve an athletic maneuver of some sort? No, absolutely not. I will just go over there and weep gently in the horn pile. Seriously, what is this about? Um, okay, what what I can tell you is they are all ludicrously, ludicrously incompetent, soft, pink, fragile things who do nothing but waste time. They don't even have horns. What? Really? Yeah, I was like, whoa, did they just get fouled down or something? No, turns out that's just how they are. That's odd. They're a miserable, pointless crop of life forms from meaningless, boring postal of a planet's infuriating they're somehow allowed to have any influence over us. It's pretty disheartening, but you are absolutely sure they are all failures and that they have no chance of succeeding? Yep, it's all right there. 
I'm not sure which depresses me more, the sabotage of our session or the futility of theirs. Well, what are you talking about? You're being really weird about this. Well, I haven't asked what I wanted to ask. Then ask. It's about tentacle therapist. Give me a sec. <coughs> mm. My throat is being mean today. For no reason. Yeah, it's about tentacle therapist. Yeah, that's the Rose Human. She's apparently pretty sarcastic. It's in my notes. You have notes on them? Yes. I guess that's why you're our leader, Karkarot. No, I'm your leader because of my incredible tactical skills and my ability to mobilize and motivate a bunch of useless people towards a common goal and because I'm extremely ambitious and intrepid. Also because leadership is in my blood, we've been over this. Statements like that are also why you're our leader. Okay, I'll accept that. Have you talked to her? Who? The Rose Human. Also, do we really have to say things like the Rose Human? Of course we do. I mean, it sounds seriously disdain. I mean, if a bunch of aliens started hassling you, you would expect them to act really high and mighty and superior in every way, right? Which of we are, of course. Uh, okay. And no, I haven't talked to her. I'll probably steer clear of her for the most part. I have my sights set on the John Human, probably also the Jade Human. She's a huge culprit, too. It's just feels really silly when we say things like the John human in confidence amongst ourselves. We have to commit to this. Stay in character, you know? Remember the speech. The speech has been emblazoned upon my think pan, virtually in const on the fold of my personal mythology. Did you just want to troll her? Are you volunteering? Because that would be great. I really appreciate that. I don't know. I'm not sure if I've got it in me right now. Oh, come on. You'll be great at it. Please, just do the, do this one thing for me. We gotta stay coordinated on this. Too many of these fucks are going rogue. Like, what are we even doing? Fine. Okay, great, thanks, Kansas. I'll expect a full report soon. A report about what? Like, how hassled you got her to be, but less stupid sounding than that. Is there a metric for that concept? N no. Well, th there should be. We can dodge your results with the flighty broads and their snarky horsechnometer. That seems just as disparaging to me as it is to her. Yeah, well, use his motivation. I gotta get cracking here later. <clears throat> Kansas, troll the Rose Human. You begin trolling the Rose Human, even though you're not really feeling this at all. You can't seem to figure out how to get the viewpoint feature to work. You muddle through the first conversation blind. She does not prove to be the intellectual adversary you'd anticipated, but this is no longer all that surprising. Now knowing the true fate of her team. Nevertheless, you manage to find yourself vehemently fondling the short end of the antagonism stick. The flighty broads and their snarky horseshit on her ticks a few notches in her favor. Your aggravation and curiosity are simultaneously piqued. You wish you could get a look at her. Kansas. Open the viewpoint. F1 bonk. Thanks, Solix. <laughs> there she is. How underwhelming. No porn. Skin as white as a ghost. You wonder how she manages to look in the mirror without falling asleep. You resume your stance of ailing complacency. The snarky horseshitometer ticks back in your favor. <laughs> mm. Kansas. Keep viewing. You continue to spy on the rose human. What is this nonsense she wrote on her walls? What, why did she, what, what did she do to her totem laugh? Idiot. Oh dear God. Oh God. Not the gushers. You exhibit you exhibit a depravity max on on your side of the horseshit onometer. You had this girl wrong all along. She's an utter buffoon. You hope nobody caught you looking at that. The horse owner swings back to her side as she's inadvertently caused you to flush with the shame of one thousand cocoon wedding children. You win this one you win this round, Lalonde. Cons Kansas. View the past. You need to put some distance between yourself and that egregious display. These look like simpler times. Probably better to mess with her earlier in the timeline rather than later. Hmm. Kansas. Enter name. Flighty Broad. Why, Miss Lalonde, it does appear you have once again fallen out of favor with the Flighty Broads and their snarky horse shadometer. Your move, therapist. This is boring. Where's the challenge in teasing a mentally stupid alien girl? A stupid walkthrough is probably plagiarized from another more advanced civilization or something. Maybe bothering her friends will be more interesting. Kansas, troll the John human. Oh, oh I've been bonked. Ah. Oh god, I've been bonked. Hello. Uh, hi? Uh, this is... Ooh, what is this? 
Oh, this is like uh, when he was sending gifts or something. I don't know. Hello. Hi. Uh, allow me to make this simple. I am a troll from another universe using a chat client utility, which is capable of contact contacting you and your friends at any point of your lives, which I choose up to, and including the moment of your own incompetence-fueled self-destruction. I'm looking for evidence of intelligence in your species, a reason, any reason at all, really, to justify <coughs> wasting the few precious remaining moments of my life on you. It has fallen on your shoulders to supply me with that reason, John Human. Go. <laughs> what? What indeed? I was just leaving. So you're a time traveler? No. We don't actually travel through, uh, well, not all of us do. One of us does, though. That's not what we are talking about here, and is aside from the point. So let me see if I have this straight. Um, <coughs> <coughs> ah, again. <coughs> mm. You are a time traveling space alien from the future, sent here to study humans? No. Are you from Mars? Is it a mission of peace? No, John, you weren't listening. What does your time machine look like? A phone booth? Phone booths are a popular thing for some reason. Ugh, damn it. Were you lured to Earth by a huge JavaScripty thing that J Jodie Foster piloted in contact while Matthew McConaughey sort of acted as her spiritual guide, I guess? What the hell? And then he kind of preached to her about having faith instead of believing the science is so hard all the time, and I guess in the end she believed in him, maybe? Actually, I'm not even sure what the point of McConaughey was in that movie, but he's still awesome. And then Jodie found her dad on an alien planet, but I guess he was a ghost or something? Or maybe an alien disguise. Then she went home and nobody believed her, but you just know McConaughey believed her because had, he had all the faith, and I mean all of it. Anyway, does that have any applicability to your cosmic interstellar, interstellar astro journey? Okay, you are even dumber than the Rose human. That is incredible, really. Psst, I know I'm dumber than Rose. That's not much of a burn, dude. I am a girl, not a boy. Oh, sorry, I... Don't know why I thought you were. It happens. Were you trolling Rose too? Time travel trolling? Time travel trolling? Yes, as a matter of fact. Oh boy, let me go put on my quantum space hat and extraterrestrial adventure boots and you can tell me all about it. If you weren't so stupid, I'd suspect you were being insincere for the benefit of your amusement. <laughs> I don't follow. I just spoke to her in the future. She's an imbecile, and conveying how much I dislike her at this point presents an overwhelming gauntlet of personal expression. Regardless, she is said to pay something from our conversation to get you to understand what is going on. I have strong doubts it will be effective, but here it goes. Paste. I should figure out how the viewpoint feature of this application works, so I can see what a primitive creature looks like. <laughs> well, you know what you guys look like. It's kind of like Cowie Mandel from Little Monsters, even though, to be perfectly frank, he was kind of a big monster, because he's a big, goofy adult, and Fred Savage was like his child prankster sidekick. I is this an adversary you've encountered on your quest? N no, it's a movie. You should ask John about it, because he thinks it's awesome, which it is. <laughs> oh, man, you blew it. Now I know for sure you're trolling me. Rose hates that movie. Are you suggesting I was being trolled that it was a charade meant to make me look foolish? Possibly. I know, I, I know for sure that she did, I didn't sound like her, but I think it's more likely that you made it up all because you know I like that movie. So I tip my cap to you. Well played, Miss Troll. Now I am wondering if you might be trolling me as well. Okay, well, just between you and me, someone is here is getting trolled, and it might just be all three of us. Uh, okay, but you should have told me you like little monsters. We could jam about that. What was your favorite part? Suspicions pitching once again towards the conclusion that you are just very stupid. I really want to get a little monsters poster, but they're hard to find. I asked my dad for one for Christmas. Fingers crossed. I'm guessing that's the human equivalent of the 12th Peregrine's Eve. Will your adult human custodian forge for leavings as ours do? Yep, that sure keeps sounding alien of you. Keep up the good work. Listen, I'm kind of busy. I have to wrap up this president's mail in a hurry, so I'm going to block you. But I might unblock you, unblock you again soon, because you're kind of cool. Your blocks mean nothing, but don't worry. You won't hear from me again. Yeah, well, you might just hear from me. Also, you should give Rose another chance. She's really great. Whatever she did, she's probably just putting her mind games on her, on you. It's all in fun. Be there. Be There is more to her than that. You'll see. Bye. I bonk. Ugh, stupid trolls. It looks like this package is gonna be late. Oh no. Conversations with other two humans didn't go that well either. Must be something about the human intellect and a specific posture it assumes, particularly when a cer certain subject is broached. And yet, your curiosity remains piqued. How maddening. Earth is surprisingly pretty. Seems very bright. 
Okay, you'll have to admit that this is a nice outfit. Humans get points for fashion, too. You begrudgingly concede with single snark tick in the stylish human and her loyal snowlusion. Snowless. Kansas. Troll rose human again. In a little while, she is back to her hive. You prepare an ambush. This time, the fashionable handcrafted gloves are coming off. You proceed to have your second conversation, which is... For a reminder, yeah, of basically this whole conversation. Okay. You feel pretty good about... God damn it. I got fucking clacked again. Anyway. You feel pretty good about your effort. It was a measured balance of barbs and condensation. Your leader will be pleased with the report and... Yet, it seems that John Human's is right. This is not the same Rose Human you dealt with before. She's been toying with you all along. Oh, the curiosity, how it persists. The maddening, maddening curiosity. Your arbitrary, uh, your arbitrary gauge decides on a draw. Snark reaped and sown in equal distribution. This is far from over. Kansas, explore this human emotion called friendship. You can only assume that this is a typical, somewhat typical way for human relationships to blossom. It seems friendship for some humans is a basic aggregation of shallow and insincere hostilities. Human friendship sure is con complicated. You skip ahead to the point on her timeline when you suspect friendship may possibly have been established already. You have your third conversation. It does not go as well as you hope. Rose takes the lead. Your fourth, fifth, and sixth conversations don't fare much better, which we cannot link to because we have not had them yet in our reading. This friendship is stalling fast. What are you doing wrong? You're now getting your ass handed to you on a silver nutrition plateau. Your serious need of a ploy to turn the tables on the stool of snarky one-upman soup. Some advice couldn't hurt, you s suppose. Kansas, troll the Dave human. You s decide to seek counsel from Rose Human's dark-spectacled friend. Uh, this is... Yeah, okay. I kind I barely remember that conversation, but it happened. Uh, you now believe you understand how to proceed. Kansas, have your seventh conversation. You put into motion a cunning plan in your seventh conversation. Okay, and... Yeah, just a bunch of stuff. Am I supposed to be able to see that yet? Ah, okay. Come on. Oop, accidentally kicked, clicked it three times. Uh, I'm gonna read, read this really quickly. Basically... Oh, okay. I, I, I remember now. Sorry. Lalonde has finally been outmaneuvered. The horse shenometer is lopsided in your favor, and most delightfully of all, this fume display has ensured that all previous snark ticks against you have been rendered completely irrelevant. Turns out they are just consequences of your future design all along. You cannot hope to beat Kansas, Mer uh, Kansas Miriam on a snark off. She's simply the best there is. <laughs> Kansas, hop to 8-8. Eight eight. You scan her timeline to the right moment to sync up both your sides of the dialogue. Ideally, she would have long since discarded her train of thought. You will finally reap the spoils of all your careful uh, subterfuge. You will reap them good. Ba -da -da -da. Uh, zap? Oh, fuck. That's just cool, though. Anyway, the flighty broads and their snarky hiss short on hit horseshit on him or it explodes. It simply cannot take this much horseshit. <laughs> She's having a crisis. Kansas, have your eighth conversation. What the hell did you just do? Hi there. Did you actually, you actually did it. Blew it up, I mean. I had begun to believe that was an embellishment. This is it, isn't it? What, what is it? This is the eighth conversation between us from your perspective as well as mine. Yeah. I've been looking forward to this. Really? 
Yes, I have some questions for you. What questions do you have? I'll start with a simple one. Do trolls have names? John? Oh wait, do trolls have names? John, make a backup computer. You make a new Cosby top, so you can do some serious computing on the go. You barely got a chance to mess around with the first one you made before it was pilfered by Scurious Imp. Okay, it was actually a Silidex mishap, Silidex mishap, but whatever. Remember how that happened? That didn't stop being a thing that happened or anything. John, reunite with lovingly, loving fatherly comedian-themed laptop. Mmm, this did not age well. What the hell are you doing? Uh, oh, hey, John, stop kissing that adult brown male human computer at once. But it, it's Bill Cosby. He's back in, in laptop form. Man, this is just another what? It is just another waste of time. Everything you do is a huge waste. A stupid, punch, pointless bunch of wasty, wasty wastes. Excuse me, but sending just a little quality time with my man Bill here is not a wasty waste at all. No amount of eights in the world will make that true. You have a... You have important things to do, remember, Jade? Of course I do. Jeez. Okay, I'm going. Oh, no. What? What? What the fuck are you doing now? I'm going to blast off and fly a little higher to see if I can find Nana up there, and then I'll install the game, which will only take a second. No, that's not what I mean. I know what you're going to do. You're not supposed to do it now. You're supposed to do something else first and then fly up. It's right here on your timeline, but I attempted to do the thing you're not supposed to do yet. You were just wasting more of our time. Jeez, you're incredibly bossy. More like Marquise Barcy Fangs. I told you that's my role-playing name, not my real numb, so your weak burn means nothing. No, you did not tell me that you like to play Toral Dungeons & Dragons. Oh yes, John. I'm really going to know that stupid Earth game is just because you put Troll in front of it. Stupid. I will find out what your name is. I am Tricky and I have waves. <laughs> Doubt it. Now shut up and do what you're going to do next. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Apparently what I thought I was going to do next was wrong, so why don't you tell me? Because that's ridiculous. That'd be a ridiculous way for us to do things. Has it occurred to you that I might be wasting so much time because you keep pestering me, telling me about how much time I'm wasting? And then when I'm about to make progress, you tell me I'm doing the wrong thing? If it wasn't for you, I'd be playing this game already? Okay, sh okay, shut up. Fine, I'll, I'll hold your hand every step of the way since it's apparently how you want to do this. But it isn't. I said shut up. Look, you're about to make yourself a new outfit and then you'll fly up and install the game. Oh, but... Why would I do that? My ecto lab suit is rad. Because you look like an idiot. Seriously, it's a good thing I decided to bother you now. Otherwise, you'd go through the game looking like a little weenie boy Skylark. What's a boy Skylark? It is the most terrible, gutless class of limp for limp wimpy, wimpy losers. Ones who have no idea how to handle themselves when a girl talks to them and stuff. Actually, I think I remember passing that wrong on my Esh letter a while ago. Yes, exactly. It's beneath you, John. You are clearly, clearly much better than that. You should dress like it. Who cares what I dress like? It's what's inside an adventurer that counts. <laughs> uh, I'll watch you actually say that with a straight face. Oh my god. Uh, why are you taking such an interest in my fashion, anyway? Look, trolls are an extremely fashion-minded race, John. You should make note of this, since you pretend to be a scientist or something. <laughs> it sounds like you have a really lame culture. John, that is an outrageous thing to say. You don't even know how important the fashions are, so be quiet. Lame. Look at that. You counted out eight A's for me, John. That is so thoughtful of you. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even count. It just turned out like that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, anyway, uh, I'll I'll make a new soup. I'm not tissue my ecto seat. It's so sweet. I look like Link if Zelda was a quest about an elf scientist. I am the Wind Waker. It's me. I know I know you are, John. Now empty out your Silidex and let's see what sort of killer gear we can make for you. But do it fast. Also, we're eight viewers. Hi, eight viewers. <laughs> okay. Kansas, have your 16th conversation. Okay, this this will probably strike you as an odd moment for me to mention this, but actually, there are not many moments I've observed on your timeline that wouldn't qualify as odd, and somehow, your idle moments seem to invite interruption in the least. This is a difficult topic for me to broach, for reasons that probably won't understand. You're rambling again, Kansas. <coughs> mm, sorry. You're rambling again, Kansas. 
Uh, sorry. Uh, bro. Uh, you're rambling again, Kansas. Oh, okay, sorry. I've just been meaning to say that I read your instructional guide. Ah, oh, she's floating it. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, you're, sorry to hear you're subjected to that. Uh, why? It was a little melodramatic in rest respect, heavy-handed, but now it's stuck on that server forever, broadcasting the notes of a very confused girl sifting through the aftermath of just another pedestrian apocalypse somewhere in paradox space. Have you ever written a message you regretted instantly upon sending? L lately, almost perpetually. That line included? Wow, yeah, kind of. Also, that one. I'm sure you must regard the walkthrough as pretty quaint, as a veteran of the game. Actually, at the time of reading it, it lent some useful insight into the nature of the game I hadn't yet considered, and the author, I guess. At the time? Uh, when exactly did you read it? Uh, by the way, what are you doing here? Is this part of your ongoing investigation? Water. I'm gonna sip. Oh, no. She's magic tearing it apart. My. Yeah. Are these tactics really necessary? It's faster this way. If there's one thing you and your friends regularly remind me, it's time is not on our side. I, I know, but I thought our methods earlier were effective in illuminating the underpinnings of this game. You ask some questions, and I answer if I can. Yeah, that's been effective, but you don't know everything, do you? N no. My current strategy is comprehensive. Your notes have been helpful, but the fact you, facts you've supplied are being cross-referenced with understandings I already have, and data gathered by the sort of means presently on display. I still have some more questions for you, which I will ask in time. Okay, but these means presently on display are making me a little nervous. I think it is kind of reckless use of... Of what? These forces. Dark magic, you mean? Well... Yeah, yes, well, influenced by the gods from the furthest ring, the communion you seem to have developed with them I find kind of troubling. I don't think they're as nefarious as you might imagine. Many of them just seem to be intent on helping us. How exactly do you know that? From the whispers in my dreams. How much time have you really spent sleeping since you began playing? Eh, not much, but quite a lot of, but quite a lot in a failed timeline, and now and then memories surface from that alternate reality... Vague memories, but unmistakably in familiarity, like spontaneously remembering a dream from years ago from some inexplicable callist, and in that reality, they spoke to me in my sleep and told me much of what I needed to know, including what to do to restart our timeline and create the present reality. That makes me no less nervous. Our understanding is that influence from doomed timelines is generally... Uh, from Doom Timelines, though seemingly necessary to advance in the Alpha reality, is genuinely insuspicious. Travelers from such branches are marked for death, and though it was only an insubstantial part of you which traveled, just memories, I suppose, it is still troubling. I, I have assurances I'm on the right track. Surely you must have spoken to the gods by now. What did they tell you to make you so suspicious? Actually, I haven't. I have never visited Durs or traveled beyond the Vale. Prospit's moon was my home for most of my dreaming life. It, it was? Yes. Oh, that surprises me. Why? Oh, that's a good question. Skyo was always the foil for my curiosity, but it only showed me what I needed to see. It had very much the presence of something sentient and benevolent, but silent, not something to converse with or be instructed by, or anything with an agenda beyond which it knows to be manifest already, like a very clear mirror that has everything there to see inside it, but only some things are visible at any given moment. I always trusted it, and I don't trust gods that would eschew its light. You didn't actually ask her my question, uh, when was it exactly that you read my walkthrough? Oh, wow, well, more, more separation. Oh, um, a while ago. Uh, before you first contacted me. Uh, I have to confess that I've been experiencing something like impression whiplash since that time. What do you mean? At first I thought you were foolish and incompetent. My apologies for whatever misstep I may have taken to dispel that impression. It was an honest mistake, I swear. You see, that's what I'm talking about. It was a very smarky remark that just happened just now, stratified by your signature varies of insincerity, which cut through the literal meaning of the statement like colorful ribbons, and the net intent is something maddening to try to know. Its meaning, I think, exists in an indescribable nexus of semantic space where humor chafes against soft malice, a place perhaps the human mind occupies more comfortably, I don't know. Xenopsychology uh, is not my strong suit, or even a real word. 
Um, um, yeah, I know I am rambling again. The point is, it is not the type of behavior a very stupid person can perpetrate, and so my impression has thrashed from conversation to conversation. And now, rather than suspecting you of incompetence, I may just begin to fear just the opposite. I think you might be dangerous. Uh, to whom? Maybe not knowing that is what really bothers me. Why don't you put the turtle ruins down and return to your house? I've sketched some new outfits for you that I think are nice. We could try to make them. It will be fun. Uh, you seem to be have taken quite an interest in my wardrobe decisions. Are all trolls so fashion-minded? Uh, no. Sadly. Maybe later. What if there isn't a later? Well, we already know there won't be. That's nothing new. I mean, there's not being a later maybe might happen sooner than you think. Uh, wow. What? I mean, for you specifically. Okay, there was something else. This, this was something else I wanted to say or ask about, but I'm afraid my asking might play a role in the outcome, and I don't know if I want that. Oh. oh. <clears throat> uh, the outcome will happen one way or another. Whether you have something to do with it or not, might as well ask me. At least when it happens, you'll understand what it is that's happening, and just maybe if we're really lucky, so will I. Uh, I have a question for you, too. Uh, let's swap ignorance, okay? All right. I can't see you in the future. The viewpoint won't let me look after a certain point. It's black, but only for you, not the others. When? Several hours from now. Do you know why this could be? I, I have no idea. I can't see the future. I'm a disreputable Durst streamer, remember? But I promise that if I had a hand in it, it wouldn't be because you told me. Does that sort of make you feel better? S sort of, but it remains ominous. Is that, wh is that why you want to dissuade me from my admittedly zealous investigation to go play dress-up again? Because our time here is almost up, and you hope what's on the other side of the dark curtain for me is not some sort of corruption or damnation? Also, sort of. Eh, that's, that's thoughtful of you. Just strive to pacify me as I scuffle down this black corridor. Wait, is that what you are doing? Is it? On second thought, that is not what I want to do. Oh, uh, that's a pity. Who will make sure my soul isn't forfeit in service of gods, then? Well, I I hope that doesn't happen, but I'd rather not get stuck in that kind of pattern again. So if you want to wreck turtle villages and turn your planet apart in the Council of Dark Gods, fine with me, I guess. What do you mean, again? Uh, er, I'll do the thing you do when you don't say anything. Dot, dot, dot. One simple word can so easily begin a story in a very thick book, but I guess we won't open this one. That, what was your question? I believe you're owed some compensatory ignorance. Yeah, um, I was wondering. What do you know about the Green Sun? I have never heard of it. Thank you. The transaction was very tidy. Agreed. Hmm, what is that? John, empty your Silidex. You have a lot of shit. <laughs> This is the most ridiculous pile of useless crap I've ever seen. Why do you pick up all this junk? Rocks, mushrooms, shoes, Jigsus, John. Jigsus? Yeah, Jigsus. How do you know about Jigsus? Do you even know what that is? I have no idea. It's something Terezi has been saying nonstop for some reason. It's weirdly infectious. What it is, is it some sort of human profanity? No, well, uh, kinda. It's a misspelling of an adult male bearded, bearded human who was magic. Boring. Eh. John, is that a frog I see there? Um, yeah, it is. How do you have a frog already? I don't know. I mean, I found it. I decided to catalog it for some reason. Frogs are pretty cool. It seems awfully early in the game for you to be finding frogs. Their session sure is weird. Um, okay. Apparently it's considered illegal contraband? Why would the frog be illegal? John, shut your trap. We're in a hurry to your bossy. Okay. I think I can make you a completely fabulous outfit using this trash and maybe some other stuff around your hive. But you have to do exactly what I say. Bossy, 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 to the eighth power times eight infinities. Hurry up. That was nine exclamations. Oh, oops. Oh, fuck. I fucked up. This is a... These are very we interesting interactions, to say the least. Okay, um... Here. Uh... Remind me in ten minutes if anyone's interested. I have a question for everyone who's watching about, you know, it, it's related to the stream.
but like in about 10 minutes or so. Or at 8.30, whichever seems better. Anyway, John, hurry up. Ba-doomp. So, uh, red sneakers, some jeans, a t-shirt, and another shirt. This is a fabulous outfit you had in mind? Oh boy. That's Riska's outfit. Wait a second. Uh, yeah, isn't it awesome? I mean, it's pretty cool and all. It's just picturing something more elaborate, maybe more adventure Oh, fuck that. This is a really hot look for you, John. It makes you look like a million times more cool instead of some over sconic Daggerlands flailing pansy. What? What? Now move your ass. Go, 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 go. Okay, jeez. John, blast off. <laughs> Pachoo! Uh, <laughs> just messing with you. Pachoo! Yeah! <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyways. Okay, so Marquise Bossy Fang's Miss Gret. This has been a lot of fun, but I need to go talk to my pals now and also rescue Jade. Yeah, I know that, dummy. I'm in a complete command of your timeline, remember? Oh, yeah, sure, if you say so. We'll not speak again for a while, but for me, it'll only be a moment. I do not envy the circless cold spell you're about to endure, endure John. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, how long will it be? Oh, man, calm down. It'll only be a couple of hours or so. Sweet Jesus, you have no... You've clearly done a number on you. I've clearly done a number on you to engender such a frothing obsession so quickly. Not surprising. It's just that the burden that comes with being so damn awesome. But you'll figure that out soon enough, John, because I have you well on your way. Ah, my back. <laughs> I guess. Phase two of my program for you begins in a little while. In the meantime, try not to get corrupted by anyone too lame, especially no one with brown text or gray text or. Any other shit ugly color for that matter. Okay, I'll try. Uh, thanks for all the help. Bye, Miss Secret. Miss Secret. Bye, John. Wait. John what? Anderson. Okay, till next time, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> John, pester someone's server player. Someone's server player's server player. Do, 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 do. Hey, Dave. Hey. Wow, it's been a while since we talked, hasn't it? Uh, has it? I think last time I talked to you, I was doing exactly what I'm doing now, which is blasting off from my house, or... Was it? Wow, I can't remember. Man, who cares? I mean, that's great and all, but I talked to you plenty more time since that, from where I'm standing. I gotta make this quick. Oh, you mean like the trolls? Are you using the troll time chat gizmo? F fuck no. Fuck that trolling and horse shit. It's just regular old time travel from the future. Oh, okay, is this... Dave Sprite? No, just regular ordinary Dave from the fucking future. Nothing special to do. Come on. Well, excuse me, but I think time travel sounds kind of special. Sorry you're so jaded by awesome shit. Okay, yeah, it is awesome, but look, I'm in a hurry. What is it? I need to borrow some boon dollars off you. B boon dollars? I thought they didn't do anything. No, no, they do something. What, what do they do? What do you think they do? They buy shit. It's fucking money. Well, what do they buy? I can't answer all these questions, dude. You'll find out anyway. It's not like you'll even really need your money. You might as well give it to me. Uh... How much do you need? All of it. Oh, fuck that, man. You just said you thought it was useless. Why do you care? But you just said it wasn't useless. I'll pay you back. Really? When? In the future. If there's one thing I'm not short of, it's the fucking future. How far in the future are you from? I thought we only had like 24 hours until like game over. Yeah, we do. But chronologically, I've been around for at least triple that. Wow, how? I, I don't get how that works. No shit, your deal is win, not time. You're on easy street. What is there even to think about with wind? Like, what angle to blow blow it to fly at a dime kite or gentle is going to be to make a psychic picnic go swimmingly? It's kitty bullshit time. It's serious fucking business. Leave it to the pros, okay? But doesn't going back in time make an alternate reality? I thought that was supposed to... I thought that that's what happened with Dave Sprite. He came back to make sure he didn't die, and this is our new timeline now. Yeah, it can work that way. Or not. I've been very careful. This whole operation is strung together with stable time loops. No timeline offshoots, because that's when Dave's start dying, and that isn't no good for nobody. Dave's plural? Yeah, there's a bunch of Dave's running around the timeline. Oh, man, but they're all me. I mean, they all will become me, and I'll become them one way or another. That's just how stable time loops, time loops work. Shit takes a lot. Planning, precise choreography. I got some help, though. Help? It sounds like you've been talking to some trolls. Yeah, they seem to be 
getting more talkative lately. Man, don't get me started. Even get me started with that. 24-hour span of the reckoning is like some kind of critical spike in us dealing with troll bullshit. I guess it's going to be when the most shit is going down, so they figure it's the best time to mess with us. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, I guess since you've lived three days in one day, you've been hassled that much more. I don't know, man. They seem to flock to me. I've been laying waste to chumps nonstop. It's like they heard someone over here was handing out asses, and they'd know nothing but years of bitter ass famine. <laughs> so, uh, what's the future like? Or, like, the three times future? Do we win? Oh, you know, Noir's out of control, Rose is crazy, Jade's crazier, and you're, well... You're you, and together we're up to our bulges of miscellaneous bullshit alien psychology and hot sloppy shenanigans while hatching prans under our feathery asses like a bunch of cage-free farm-fresh motherfuckers. But I'm not going to get into specifics. This is complicated enough as it is, and if I start ranting too much about the future, I'd start sounding like one of those smug alternating shitheads. I'm not going to drop that stupid science onto my good bro, so I'm staying on track here. Speaking of which, give me your money. But I, I worked hard saving up that money. I have a whole boon buck now. Oh, Christ, only one? Well, fuck, never mind then. I thought you had more by now. It's but goddamn peanuts. Mm. I mean, I'll take it anyway, but damn. Tell me what you want with it. I'm working the system here. Using time loops to manipulate the insafere financial sector, making goddamn killing in the low case. L low case? Low hack stock exchange. Uh, low hack? My planet, the land of heat and clockwork, dude. Come on, you know, like gears and lava and shit. Oh, huh, that sounds... Unpleasant. Wrong. It kicks ass. Your unpleasant face is what kicks ass. It's wrong. It kicks ass. Your your unpleasant face is what kicks ass, or doesn't more like it. <sighs> Egbert, shut the fuck up and give me your goddamn boon buck. Jesus fucking Christ. I'll turn into a boon mint in an hour and you'll get it back. Okay. Do do you exist? Huh. No comment. I don't even know how to give it to you. They're just more weird gaming abstractions. How do we do this? You can wire it to my account. I'll send you the app. I'm pretty busy, you know. I have to help Jade. I know, but this takes like two sec. This takes like two seconds. But uh, fine, dude. Don't do the risk. Don't do. Don't do the risk of thing. Okay. Sorry. Don't do the Victoria thing. Okay. She's messed up. She messed up. We talk. She's messed up. We talked about this, or we'll talk. Who? Whatever. At app in. All right. At app incoming. Okay, gotta go later. Dave, make a dob get, do, goddamn killing in the lo- uh, the, the that. Do, 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 do. There's Dave. Do, 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 da, 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 da. There's that person who I don't fully understand. Is that Dave? Are those all Dave? It is the perfect crime. Dave, received transfer from John. Looks like Egbert came through. He wires you his measly boon buck. It's not much, but it's immediately funneled into the pipelines of your various investment scams and quickly begins paying dividends. The figures are tight. You have the shit on fig fidu carry lockdown. The economy belongs to you. Dave, answer. Hey Dave, big news. Hey, uh, have I made enough money yet? Of course you have. More than we could have ever possibly figure out what to do with, but that's not the big news. Okay. I made you another comic. Oh, fuck. About time. What took so long? It, it, I resent the implication, Dave. And I'm not working tirelessly on your behalf as well as behalf of the fine arts. Just because you go for hours without hearing from me doesn't mean I'm not slaving away here, making you rich financially and artistically. It's just I don't have the luxury of your expanded time frame, Mr. Three Days in One. Okay, cool. Let's see it. Is there anything a human f cool kid can't do? I doubt it. I can figure out how to use the computer. When will the cool kid come and do take us all to school? Internet. So fucking cool. Boy. Bitch. Oh my god. Damn. That, that's incredible. The phenomenon of this cool kid is fascinating one day. I've studied it. Did you know we do not have cult kids on alternate? Alternia? Sorry, ass land? Oh, shit. Really? That loud sound of shock you just smelled is my jaw hitting the floor. It's true. Some try to be, some try to be, I think, without even being aware of the template they're striving for. It's a sad spectacle. It's a spectacle, but I think you're probably the coolest cool kid, Dave. All these other horns are surfing on keyboards and putting on hats so and turn away is a bunch of stupid numbnuts. They have nothing on this coot on the true striker. Yeah, you know I mean, I can't possibly argue with any of that. So, uh, are we done making money yet, or? Oh, I don't know. Technically, we were a long time ago. Yeah, I kind of figure. That's a fun way to stretch out the time you got left, isn't it? Hmm. 
Uh, I'm not complaining, but you said there was something specific we were working towards here. I mean, aside from buying up all the nastiest fray motifs. Yeah, both are true, and there is something you haven't bought yet. That's important. We need to keep you competitive with John. Competitive? Man, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. I'm not going to outpace Egbert. Don't say that. you got to believe yourself, Dave. Hey, it's not like the future's a mystery or anything. We've both seen it. Well, I've seen it. You've just got a whiff of it. It's like a hungry beggar loitering case across the street from the Olive Garden. Just because a faithfully vagrant barred from entry doesn't mean a dude doesn't know Italian food's nearby. It's a fucking fact of his nose. Do not distract from the issue with your sassy remarks about Earth Italian food. Uh, yeah, okay, John may serve you your own bulge on a silver platter turntable per scratch, pre-scratch, but what about after that? We need you to keep pace. It is the classic struggle, the human Earth kill kid versus the Earth human nerd. Who will win? Deep, deep, deep. Oh, fine. So, what was the other thing we were accomplishing here? Does that, does that not get to be an obnoxious secret yet? Yeah, now's the time. You must wire your boon dollars to my account. So, this was your game to get rich off me. Yeah, but seriously, it's important. It's critical to all our plans. Alright, well, it's not like I'm even having a problem parting with this useless bullshit anyway. How much do you need? 413 boon bonds. That's all? I can afford to give you a fucklord more than that. How about I give you an even boon bank? No, it must be exactly that amount. Okay, just to be... Clear, that's 413, not I. Yeah, jerk. What's up with that number? I've seen it around. They are the numbers of the bride prophets. What does that mean? I don't know. Okay, awesome. Also, uh, at this exact end of this conversation, you must wire the money in my account exactly 6 hours and 12 minutes into the past. My past, relative to my present moment as of typing this. You mean I can do that then? Why weren't we just wiring money and pass for these investments escape gate, investment escape aids instead of doing the, all this time traveling? Guys, that wasn't the plan. We had to play along with the stable time loops we were pres presented with. You know, make sure all these days running around exist in the first place. Oh, yeah, I knew it was just that frustrating sometimes, like, paradox space makes you do everything the hard way. Yeah, tell me about it. But hey, it's been fun playing around, hasn't it? Huh, <laughs> sure. Uh, we've got to keep being delicate with time. If you start bending the rules and taking shortcuts then when dead daves start piling up dead daves are the enemy as delightful as this is the smell of their sweet candy blood everywhere uh yeah that reminds me i did make you a comic a while ago you did yeah here well real time to spaz out on top of the shitty brick wall from a google image search with this fucking watermarks all over it damn nobody's uh s some stealing this image or anything and do some other bullshit I usually do, like being really hyperactive and flurry all the time. Oh. Dave, this comic is borderline pornographic. You're a really fucked up kid. Yeah, okay, yeah, whatever you say. Fucking aliens. It's fantastic, I love it. Okay, tool. Uh, Boon Bond's incoming now. Brace yourself six hours ago. Dave, be the troll girl. Hey! It's you, Kermit. You are suddenly the troll girl in a different game session. In the past. Kermit sniffs skyward. You've recently retreated to the Vale to hide from the mysterious demon which appears to be bent on your destruction. Suddenly, uh, nobody understands anything. Uh, there's not much to do but wander around the laboratory while the others squabble amongst each other and search for answers. You point your noise skyward. It's a refreshing blue minty dot against the medium's dark canvas. It's very far away from this meteor, though. It's hard to pick up its scent clearly. Kermit dispel <laughs> deploy smelloscope. You make sure tr sh uh, you make use of your trusty smelloscope, an item you crafted during your adventure. It came in handy so many times. Kermit, take a whiff. Your keen nose penetrates deep into the in sniffosphere. I mean, in sniffosphere, and zeroes in on the familiar honey sweet smell of prospect. Thank goodness it's still safe. It'd be terrible if the demon were to. Oh no! <laughs> it 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 exploded. You take you take the brunt of the stellar smell explosion like a sour apple punch to the snout. Baff. Yo, it's a little it's a little dude. No. Oh. Anyway, Kermit, return to the party. Down. You suppose you'd better report this to your teammates. Perhaps a memo is in order, but today there will be little reason for rumpus in your party town. Today is a very sad day. You are all in bigger trouble than you suspected. Unsurprisingly, you return to a room full of commotion. What is that guy staring at? Along with, always with the staring. He's so weird. What is she doing with that chainsaw over there? The rich scent of chocolatey blood fills the room. Good grief! You can't turn your back on these lunatics for a second. 
And there's your bold leader, passed out on the floor. He's sleeping like a wriggler. You wonder how he could be, what he could be dreaming about. prospect has gone now, and he never had a chance to wake up. Poor guy. Uh, Kermit, report news to Party Town subscribers. That's a happy apple. Sure is. It is important to keep your loyal subscribers of the past and future informed. It is your duty as a dedicated bulletin administrator. Still, it's hard to find the words to break this to them. The Party Town's been host to nothing but bad news lately. Kermit, open the memo. Bad news, everyone. Uh... Oop. Future. Uh, hey, Kermit, something's come up. Oh? Yeah, you'll need to cut the memo shirt short. Everyone, the bottom line is that Prospect just destroyed. I'm so sorry to say. Mm. Mm. Is that what happened? Yes, Tat. Uh, yes, horny boy. Mm. Wow, that took you three hours to figure out. What the hell have you been doing? Mostly getting used to these legs, falling downstairs, and stuff like that. Do 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 do. I'm quite sure I warned you about attempting to navigate stairs while adjusting to the new equipment. Yeah, you told him, bro. Uh, I distinctly remember you telling him about stairs, but he didn't listen. He never listens. None of you do, really. Not all of your extra lives are wasted. What a bunch of losers. I'm out of here, blonk. Well, uh, not all of them. This, uh, Durst Dreamers are fine. Uh, the Durst Dreamers are fine as all, uh, as far as I know. Uh, not quite. He's referring to the fact that Durst was just destroyed, too. I just saw him during my catnap. He blew it right on up. Hmm. Hmm. Fear, uh, Fear Free is sleeping, too. Now she will not be able to wake up. I'm very perturbed by this. Everyone, please. Past Kermit, it's something important to attend to in a moment, so I'm afraid I have to close this memo. Please scan this bulletin for future memos to continue discussing this and intriguing topics. As always, this has been a pleasure serving your trans timeline discussion needs here at the Rainbow Rumpus Party Town. Oh, you dope fist. Shut the fuck up. I hope it's happy when a five-year-old in the living room swallows at home. Whole. Oh, no. Uh, Kermit, wait for this important thing to happen. On the instruction of yourself from three minutes in the future, you wait for something to happen. You wonder what could possibly happen that will cause you to become your future self in three minutes and interrupt your past self's memo and tell her to wait for almost three minutes doing nothing but wonder what could possibly happen that will cause her to become her future self and... Hey, someone just wired you money. That's odd. Kermit, accept transfer. Huh. 413 boon bucks. The numerals of the blind prophets. A sign, perhaps? A secret message? But from who? This, this makes no sense. Wait, those are not boon bucks. Some of the digits are obscured. You need to take a closer look, which is to say, uh, a closer lick. Kermit, lick the screen. 413 boon bonds? This is an absurdly preposterous amount of money. Kermit, confer with the network administrator. So, Rex, I need to retrace some money here. Transfer. Uh, someone sent you money. Yeah. Why is someone sending you money? And I own now all the now of all times. Like we can like we can even use it. Like who is this douchebag? Not what I. That's why I want you to figure out. Okay. Bam. F bam. Done. I'm fucking incredible. Who is it? Someone in our universe. Can you be more specific? Universes are kind of huge. Someone from Alternia? No, sorry, Assland? No, no, I mean someone from our universe, the one we just made. Oh, wow, already? That was fast. We just made it. Yeah, sure, but we're completely outside of temporal envelope. Remember, the entire history of the thing ex existing already in its entirety from our perspective. Its flow of time means nothing to us, so we, have, we don't have to wait for anything. Like, it's already there. Sorry, it's already there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. S still seems weird, though. Uh... Weren't it 13 boon bounds? Damn, someone has to be playing uh, playing two grub, I guess. Uh, wonder what they'd send, why they'd send you money. Maybe they know we made them? Maybe it's like a tip? Like, thanks, dude, for making us exist? Eh, maybe, why 413? Why that number? Like, any idea? Numerals of the brain profits. Other than that, don't know. Well, uh, seeing as we don't know shit about the guy, kind of seemed like the oper operative concept, kind of like a blind donation. Now we're fucking rich, so I guess you could say they're the numerals of the blind prophet. <laughs> okay, I guess it's from an alien. Yeah. Uh, maybe we should tell uh, Karkrat whenever he wakes up. Yeah, this shit's probably not important enough to bother him with. If he finds out, he'll probably want to hatch some dumbass plans that make no sense. Badger mean doing a lot of mind-numbing busy work. I'd leave him alone. What does he look like, our blind donor? 
Yep, come here. I'll I'll open them up in viewport. Okay. Let's get some light on. Let's shed. Let's shed some light on the subject. Yeah, that wasn't even set of fun, you punny goofus. That was the joke. Shut up. It's like shut the fuck up. Um, go. And now we look with the help of kind lady, and oh my god, it's the baby. Who is this douchebag? I forgot about my con pie. Having some now. Mm. Hmm. Anyway, Kermit examined the douchebag. Douche bag. The youngster receives, uh, receives striking new eyewear. Quite a handsome set. Perhaps it is customary for this species after emerging from the trials of the brooding caverns? Or just maybe this is just some sort of cool kid you're dealing with here. <laughs> you made something you regret? Oh. Tell us more, Burning Razor. Anyway, it seems the child's Lucis was slain in the uh, collision. He will grow up an orphan, just like you. This adult alien male appears to be taking the role of his custodian, instead of killing the boy outright. What a fascinating culture. The fellow retrieves the Lucis carcass. It appears to be a gentleman who knows better than letting a good pony meet go to waste. Oh, geez. Kermit, observe the cool kid. You learn much of this young creature's civilization and its customs. The adult puppet assistant commences the standard feeding ritual. The little cool kid is making a mess of his lovely new horse leather bib. It's about as adorable as it gets. This race appears to be quite martially adept. Even from, even from early childhood, this must have been proven to be very powerful sub grub players. No wonder they managed to make so much money. You suddenly understand everything. Okay, so he swipes, he's in the hand, throws him, and then he's back on the head. What? You can... Uh, you can, I can access it? Okay. Oh, I can assess it, duh. Anyway, he's learning how to DJ. He gets his sword. Solix, enter a name. You cannot name him yet. No matter how insufferable you find this cool kid to be, you'll have to wait until his wriggling day when he turns six solar sweeps. Oh. Oh. So those names from the beginning where the troll is trying to uh, do it. No, access. Oh, okay. Anyway, Mr. Appleberry Blast needs to st step off. This kid is yours to mess with. You smelled him first. Uh, Kermit, troll this awesome cool kid after a shoosh papping the other two. Okay. Hey, you're a boy. Wait, I just assumed you're. <coughs> I just assumed you're a boy. Uh, maybe you're a girl. I don't know much. <coughs> oh, jeez. This is a horrible idea. Uh, I'm gonna die for my hubris. Help. You sent Toaster Poggers. You have two versions. I did the same for Sonoma as universally hated. I hope I can live up to that. Oh, God. I am already afraid.
It, I hate it so much. Thank you for making this. Thank you so much for making this. It's it's horrible and I hate it. <laughs> Thank you. Ten, ten, zero out of ten. It's horrendous. Uh, can you send Virgin to go for it? <sighs> I'll look at it after I read through this. Okay. Hey, Earth boy. Uh, wait. I just assumed you were a boy. Uh, maybe you're a girl. Uh, I don't know much about your weird hornless speechy species. I guess we could be. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a girl. Oh, really? Earth things are really bizarre. No offense. Uh, what's your species called? North American hollering phallus baboon. I, I think you might be pulling my friend, female earthling. No, it's true. We're highly endangered. When our territory is threatened, that's when this indiscriminate fucking begins. You could fuck a circus tent down a gas tank. Bunch of it up there real good. Slam the lid and drive it away. Beep, beep. I'll bear, albino hairless dick monkey coming through. I'm not sure what that means by, uh, suspect or something highly lavish, whatever. The glittering civilization before he was built on angry ape fuck power alone. Stand agog and marvel, motherfucker. Uh, okay, this is nonsense. You are a joker like me. My name's Kermit. What's yours? Shaggy too dope. Okay, Shaggy. See, I can smell deceit. Mines have a subtle odor, odor, easy to miss at first, but the more they pile up, the more they stink. That is not your real name. Okay, sorry, it's Ben Stiller. Also, I don't think you're really a girl. Nope, sorry to disappoint you, you dude. I am a girl, not a boy. Don't care. Ugh, this is the first encounter's not going as well as I hoped. Oh man, another failed tolling a trolling attempt. I had such high hopes, uh, Kermit, it started out brilliantly. So, trapeze uh, Kermese, and it started out brilliantly. Kermit, I'm not trolling you. I'm trying to get you to know a little about you and your species. I just discovered it, and I'm curious. Excuse me, but it says right in the header of this conversation that you're trolling me. Pester Chum always knows. Oh, uh, oh yeah, but like this might be hard for a 34th baboon, for an Earth baboon to understand, but troll is a verb that has a lot of nuance. This role can mean a lot of things. For example, I am a troll. No, shit. Uh, no, I mean, that's what my species is called. Okay, let me just set aside some time to be stupid enough to believe that. Hey, it looks like next month is chemical lobotomy month. You're lucky. Oh, God, what a smart-ass, smart-ass alien ever. So, what do you think? Time to block you yet, or what? No, let's keep talking. Um, what are you doing now? Drawing atomic. Hey, I like to draw, too. I'm really quite great at it. Awesome. Can you show me your comic? Nah. Oh, come on. I'll throw you something in return. It'll be like a culture exchange. I don't know, you seem kind of young to me, and this thing is, like, borderline pornographic. How old are you? Six. Oh, goddamn, now you're messing with me, aren't you? You aren't six. No, it's the truth. Whatever, that's bullshit. Oh, steam, what? Oh. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, anyway. Whatever, that's bullshit. Okay, you know, fuck it, don't tell your parents. What are parents? That's just uh, the saddest thing I could have heard get said here. Look, just look at this. Cool Adventures of Cool Dude and Stoner Lou. Whoa, dude, I think I smoke too much pot. That's asshole talk. <clears throat> you just need more pot. Why? You wanna have one of my have one of my whatever the fuck that is bonk? I'd be passing out motherfuckers like cheap cigars. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure what pornographic about that. It's just kind of strange. I guess. It's pretty good, though. Eh, it's okay. I'm not thrilled with this direction, though. I think it's too much like my bro stuff. Need to figure out my own ironic statement to make. Spread my wings further. Yeah, I think you can do that. You ha you just have to figure out what the truth is inside you. Pretty deep, troll girl. It it's true. There's a lot in your mind which is concealed from your surface perception. You just need to try and become aware of it. Close your eyes and tell me what you see in your mind space. I- okay, I see- I see that fucking puppet. Hey, <laughs> yes, your adult custodian servant puppet. Uh, what? What else do you see? Uh, t I mean, I don't know. Where's this drawing you promised me? Oh, yeah, hang on. Here. Uh, here you go, Ben Stiller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fucking hell. That's horrendous in the most beautiful way. Thank you, Ben. God damn, that mouth. It's like, I don't know. It's like a fucking pork chop. Jesus. I mean, Jesus. I'm so overwhelmed. I can't even damn type. Yeah, well, uh, Ben... When I'm... Uh... uh Ben, I am drawing with a mouse, you know. Is there even any other way to draw on a computer? Fucking doubt it. I'm starting to think your name isn't Ben. I think that was another ruse. Tell me your real name. <laughs> okay, let's say it's Dave. Why not? Dave! That smells like the truth. I will decide to believe it. 
Fuck. Okay, Dave, I have a lot to do, but I'll get back to you. What the hell could he possibly have to do? Doesn't mean like you're into trolling as much as your dumb nut friends. My friends, are you suggesting others like me have trolled you? Yeah, what? You didn't get the memo? I write the memo. I might not have written this one yet, though. I should probably run this by uh, my leader. Your leader? That's a stupid thing to say, even by the standard of your own bullshit made-up vernacular. Smartass. Who is he really? Your boyfriend or something? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, okay, I mean... It's kind of being complicated with him. Okay, asking for an explanation on that is pretty much the exact opposite of what I'm doing. Intersends the opposite of what I'm being. Smart ass. Actually, he's kind of smart ass like you now that I think about it. But you seem calm instead of shouting all the time. Also, you type in bright, bold red. You don't hide the color of your blood like a stupid wiggler. Okay, that remark was almost as boring as it was weird. Oh, pipe down, Dave. I'm trying to pay you a compliment. I'm holding out the interspecies olive branch, and you're giving a good fam firm ass sass grab. <laughs> one day you will rule all the sass you've dished, Dave. You may not be a girl, but you'll cry like one when I'm through with you. I don't cry. You will. There will be tears. They will smell salty. And then your cheeks will be my sandy beach. Oh, God. Okay, I will get back to you after uh, you begin playing. Now, not... That would be next solar sweep for you, so try not to be too impatient for my return. Yeah. Drawing with the mouse is optimal? I mean, yeah, I do it. <laughs> Clearly, it's optimal. Anyway, I plan on forgetting about you instantly after this conversation. Yeah, right. You know I have left my mark. I'm, sh I'm seared into your retinas like a big red sun. Well, maybe even if that's the case, I'll just forget on principle. That sounds like something a cool kid would try to do. Yeah, a pretty cool guy here, in case he hadn't noticed. Most certainly didn't. I most certainly didn't hadn't noticed. Okay, so... Yeah, it's 8.34. Oh my goodness, the second one's even worse. I, um... It's... I don't know which one I hate more, and I thank you for making both of them. Oh god. I'm talking about, like, the toaster pog thing that Bernie Razor sent me. It's, uh it's... It's interesting. Oh. Okay. So I have a question for everyone who's watching. Uh... So, if you're willing to answer a question, please just, you know, t tell me. Like, type it in the chat, because I need, I need audience participation. And there's six of you, meaning I can probably get at least two of you to talk. Talk, dang it. Talk! You're gonna talk! Please. Um, depending on what the question is, okay. Yeah, no, it's it's a question regarding uh, the stream. More specifically, what I'm going to be doing next. Also, I should probably... I'm actually going to have to check this real quick because talk dang it yeah where's everyone else talk please please more more people Oh, hell yeah. Okay, okay. So we got two people. We got two people. That's all that matters. Um, so here's my question. We are, of course, reading Homestuck. My question is, if I were to say I have, okay, I have... Oh, okay. Sorry, give me a sec. I need to juggle technology. Technology! No, um... Okay, so we're reading Homestuck, right? Well, I'm reading Homestuck. You're watching me read Homestuck. Now, my question is... Actually, no. Here, let me, let me present context. I... 
have this one RPG system, right? Tabletop RPG system that I found. Um, that's very interesting to say the least. It's very, very interesting. And I would like to ask, and, and you know, it, it's interesting to the point that I would, I kind of want to go through it, right? Right? I want to read it. I want to potentially make a character for it. Because if nothing else, it seems very interesting. So my question is, would, uh, basically I'm offering a choice. Either one, we just read Homestuck for the entirety of the stream, right? Or at about nine, I stop reading Homestuck, uh, either nine or whenever we get to a good stopping point. We pause, we stop reading Homestuck, and then we switch over to the RPG system and we start making a character. Whether it be I make a character and everybody who's watching also makes a character along with me, or we collectively make a character. So that's my question. Should we just read Homestuck for the entirety of this, or should I cut it off? in about 20 minutes or whatever is a good cutoff time, like a good cutoff place in the reading, and make a very, make a character in a very interesting RPG system. Okay, uh, honors okay, so, burning rate, ah, 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 fuck, no, no, fuck, no, this is not good, ah, ah, Jesus, my croquet mallet, okay, my croquet mallet's good, yeah, oh, I'm dead, oh, yeah, I am, okay, so you don't understand how everything works, you say, do whatever you want, personally, you'd go with the RPG, just to make things interesting, uh, yeah, uh, Nick agrees. Uh, I'm dead. Rip Toaster 2020 to 2024. Yeah. I'm actually going backwards through time. I'm only pretending to be inexperienced. Um, nah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go with those two votes as being... Ba basically, we're going to switch over when the time comes. So let's continue reading till then. Okay. I am stretched. <laughs> and it's time to go. Rip Toaster 1614 to 2020. <laughs> okay, so Kermit, be the awesome cool kid. Habunk. You are suddenly the awesome cool kid in a different game session in the future. Dave, pester Kermit. Doo -doo -doo. What the fuck was the point of this again? Why, Dave, why is this at my nose to text? Could it be... Tears. This is bullshit. This was a setup all along. I told you you would cry, Dave. I told you, bro. Okay, Jesus, don't say it. If, if you say I warned you about the tears or something one more time, I swear to God. Don't, don't say you're gonna do an acrobatic somersault, pirouette off of something, Jesus. I get it already. Okay, fine. Our memes can cancel each other out this time. Yeah, agreed. Now, uh, do I go say tears, Dave? Try not to be such a fucking wimp. It's unflattering behavior for a cool kid is of your stature. Oh, god damn it. I'm not actually crying. It's all the fucking onions. These piece of shit crocodiles are lambasting me with them. That's the lamest excuse I've ever heard. Whoever it hurts is a silly little onion making someone cry. It's absurd. I guess it's the stench of the onions is covering up the smell of the truth. How convenient. Also, your nose sucks. You're not even good at smelling at all. That is outrageous. I know you're just trying to get my earth, get my earth goat for human ironic purposes. The only thing I'm getting is out of this goddamn idiot cauldron here. No, Dave, don't. You're going to make the most delicious soup. It's making me hungry just thinking about it. The only thing I'm going to make is, like, banana and split out of this bubbling pail of misery. Oh, God, you're, God, you're right. You are sitting in a huge pail. Why? What's the relevance of that? Tell me more. Is it more alien nonsense? It'll be so awesome to hear more of that. I'm not gonna explain. That'd be, I'd be too embarrassed. 
Man, why did I, why did I even agree to play along with this horse shit? Because you had to, it's in your future, and besides, you must use diplomacy to win over your consorts. See, look, Dave, they all love you now, and you're a hero, it's you. Now they'll give you the secrets of the land. What secrets? They don't even have secrets. Look at them, they're morons. The only secrets they've got how many times a day they accidentally flush their medical alert bracelets down the toilet. Dave, they are stupid, and yet very wise. You have much to learn, and I'll keep helping you learn it, even if you are a huge cryberry baby who is easily upset by chopped vegetables. Okay, I'm gonna change out this wetsuit into a dry, shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Dave, change into your four aces suited. And there, now I won't be satisfying your crazy red fetish either. I'm crying too now. See what you did? All you get to smell is black, like licorice or something. You hate licorice, right? I love licorice. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, let's say I don't smell like licorice then. I smell like a coal miner's asshole. Too late! You already smell like licorice since he said that. Now I can't smell it. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, about time I got on with this game. Sans these pointless side quests you drag me through for kicks. Later, Kermit. Nice knowing you. Well, you can't ditch me. We got more important stuff to do together. Uh, that's unlikely. Oh, hey, uh... How do you know my name? You told me, remember? Yeah, but I thought you forgot. Why would I forget? You said you were going to make a point of forgetting. Oh, I guess I forgot I was supposed to forget. Well then, Mr. Dave Strider, I'm glad that you forgot to forget. Uh, alright. Okay, uh, speaking of forgetting to not forget things, I forgot to show you this pretty spot on, don't you think? Blah. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> Absolute perfection. And there goes the big man in his earth sport, driving the hoop through the pain and downtown. What's your obsession with making this goofy bullshit anyway? Is it troll irony? I've developed a passion for combining your internet for the cool kids and making them cooler for strider firing them. Don't get me wrong, it's awesome. Thank you, Dave. Honestly, I think I'm a better artist than I've presented so far. If only I could draw you something with my chalk. Uh, oh, I know, I can borrow my friend's drawing tablet. I'll do that in a little while. Okay, that's cool. Dave, we should trade some drawings. You and me. Okay, sure, that's fine. I'm still gonna go off and do my own thing, though, later. Wait! <sighs> Damn it, what? Okay, I got that you're a uh, rad loner and you think you have it all figured out, but how about this? Uh, if I'm meant to help you and your future self, I ought to visit you right now and give you a thumbs up, right? That'll be your way of confirming to yourself that I can be trusted. There's a... No way you'd plan to do that in the future if you end up regretting it, regretting my help. Does that sound fair? Okay, yeah, fine, but I doubt that I... Oh, fuck, there I am hiding behind that column. Mm. <laughs> and there's a thumbs up, Dave. There he is. There he fucking is. Hmm. Alarm. Well, exclamation point. Oh, thumbs up back. Okay, so what's the plan? I thought you'd never ask. There's so many plans. We're going to be so busy, Dave. You have no idea. Okay, that's cool. But what's the answer that doesn't have anything to do with meaningless bullshit? Isn't it obvious now that we have our team, Dave? You and me. It is time. Time for... Time for... Come on. For... Uh, yeah, for... Oh, God damn it. Motherfucking dance party! Whoa. Oh, shit. It's like watching a miracle made of nothing but twitching Schroeder legs. You see, Dave? I told you. You will not regret hitching your shitty JPEGing four-wheel drive to my constellation. There's where the parties are at. Look at us go. I can't stop watching. Damn, th those moves. Trust me, those moves don't, keep, don't stop keep taking place. Not at this party. I can see I'm going to have to drop everything. Drop it like it's simultaneously hot and I just tripped over the rug. Dedicate my undivided attention to this shit. Dave, why trip over that rug when you can cut it? Tap, 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 a tap, shoosh, shoosh. Damn, you're right. Okay, truth be told, everyone will be tripping when I'm done. Once I'm upset this business with my swift cuts, dudes will flanks themselves agape like they're offering store my shit in their mouths for the night. Rows of glassy-eyed human flycatchers beholding categorical fucking domination of the dance floor. But they won't cut none because the flies are all mine. You have all the delicious flies. There's not anything that any that I don't have. I'm crafting a new dance move. Shock the shit out of the asses and pants. Fred Astaire's ghost will weep in the arms of his own nimble rotting corpse. Where's your new move, Dave? It's called the Smug Cracker Parlor Wrinkle. I imagine these gyrations will smell quite fresh, like a recently leavened grub loaf. 
I mean, of course, and just when the scene thought it was starting to recover from this ridiculous erection over that, and that's when I bust out another fierce move. I call it Rage Clock, me and the douche smirk, please. Cut out to the rude jam, asking for it. How rude would you say this jam is, Dave? I'd say if I had to take an educated guess, it was outright goddamn unmannerly. It needs to get worked over by some stuffy prude at finishing school. Are you teaching me these moves? I don't know about that. Please, Dave, stand there and do this unmannerly moves and I'll observe studiously. I don't know if you can keep up, keep up with me, kid. No offense, there's just magic with these shoes and the coy no, my ransack wants them goddamn back. Come on, you take the lead and I'll follow. Like this. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. Anyway, I feel like I should be offering some visual rebuttal here. You aren't giving me any time, though, damn it. That's because I have you at the temporal disadvantage. I can pause and do whatever I like and then continue our conversation without missing a step. But don't worry, Dave. It'd be a shame to have the whiff your fragrant tears again. Eventually, the tables will turn and the advantage will be yours. You'll have all the time the present or universe at your disposal, being this night of time and all. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I can time travel. That's fine, I guess. And once you have the upper hand and there's more Dave scrambling around than you can shake a broken sword at, then you'll get your chance to impress me, like so. See, I can't, I can't compete with this. <laughs> but seriously, what, what's the real plan here? That has to do with not fucking around. There's no plan that does not involve fucking around, but we will make sure all of our fucking will be applied in a constructive direction. Okay, could you try to be somehow less subtle when you hit, hit on me, thanks? What, what? What what I say? Man, never mind. You'll have to forgive me, Dave. I think sometimes the meaning of words is lost through our cultural differences. No shit, I'm gonna infer that your species reproduces by having sex with a grub in a bucket or something. Am I close? Dave... That's absolutely the filthiest thing I've ever heard anyone say. Okay, sorry, back on point. What are we doing? Well, we, we need to start making you some money. Lots and lots and lots of it. Okay. When we've saved up enough, we'll buy you your first frame reef, and then you can start cutting out truly the feist of moves, and that's why we'll begin the most poorly behaved dance party of all. That sounds cool. Demons and denizens alike will tremble before your fidgety gyrations, and most importantly, you'll prove yourself to be the best human boy of all. Way better than that dorky Egbert and whoever might be meddling with him at any given moment. Huh, what an odd thing to say. Demands no explanation whatsoever. No, of course not. So, how do I start making all this money? Patience. Remember how I said I have plenty of time? You have plenty of time? Tell me anyway. Well, what take... Well... Okay, well, take what you have saved up from climbing your ash ladder to start with. How much do you have? Don't... No, I don't... I haven't... I never even looked at it. <laughs> nice job... Nice job, base gamer. Maybe you should have a look at it. Okay. I'll advise you later after observing this grand scheme of all things and all Dave's. I will leave you alone for, for a little while to wander and explore, but I'll be back. I'll come back with a drawing tablet, and then you'll see some true masterpieces. Okay, after all this hype, you better be prepared to fucking dazzle me. Are you gonna bring it? Allow me to provide an answer through interpretive dance. Hell fucking yeah. Awesome. Peace out, Kermit. Yeah. Oh shit. Hmm? A clock thing. What is it? Ah, oh, fuck. Um... That actually seems like a solid place to end it, because the next thing is a... John-related thing. And... That'll probably start something new. So, this is a good stomping point. So, for the benefits of, you know, people watching in the future in the recorded version of this, cough, cough, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, whatever it is for you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. This one's definitely a lot shorter, but hey, maybe that's a good thing. Hopefully see you in the next one. Goodbye.